Hi, what's up guys? It's me, Anna Fan. Welcome back to Take Chaplay, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This video, I'm going to show you how to change keyboard language on Xiaomi Poco X3 and perhaps other Xiaomi phones as well. So let's get started. Open settings from the swiping down menu option. Next, scroll down and tap on additional settings. I have to say that it's just a bit different from my other Android phone. The language and input options was put outside this setting folder. On Xiaomi Poco X3, it's a bit further in position then. Well now, tap on language and input. Alright, here guys, let me just explain a bit. The first option of languages is for setting up your phone or device language. It's like how you want to navigate your device in which language, for example, English. The next option is for input method, which is what we want to change right now. Tap on current keyboard to see which keyboard is set on default on your phone. As for Xiaomi Poco X3, you might have Gboard now installed. Tap to choose Gboard then. If any one of you don't have a Gboard yet, then considering to install it right from Play Store. Once you've done that, go back and tap on Manage Keyboard. It opens for you the keyboard settings. Tap and choose settings of Gboard. Now, Tap to choose languages and here is the keyboard language settings, okay? Now, tap on add keyboard to add a new keyboard language pack from here. You can search on this search bar or scroll down to find the keyboard that you need to use and tap to choose it. Swipe to the right to select the keyboard options that you like. Of course, you can choose more than one option then. Tap on done to save your settings. If you want to remove any of these keyboards, just tap on the editing icon on the top here and select the keyboard and tap on delete icon. After you got all these settings done, let's just go to text app or a note app to try it then. Now, to switch among keyboards, tap on the little globe icon on the bottom left corner here. Alright, you can play around with the Gboard on its features, functions, and settings. There are quite many useful features such as translate, voice typing, GIF or GIF, stickers and more. That's it for today's video guys. I hope this video gives you some helps on how to use keyboard for multi-language textings. Thanks for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. Goodbye for now.